There you go. This week on The American Crappie Trail. What a fish, what a fish, what a fish. A long season comes to an end. The competition is so good, you've got to be on your game every minute. B&M Angler Team of the Year Honors is up for grabs. I'm going to go down and swing it, buddy. And so is the title of Lucas Oil AZT National Champions. You're the man. The final battle will be waged on Lake of the Ozarks. <laughs> it's the American Crappie Trail National Championship. Seven of these, baby. And it all starts now. American Crappie Trail National Championship, Lake of the Ozarks. This is the finale, my man. We're ready, we're ready. We're dialed in pretty good. I mean, it's just a matter of whether or not we can catch a two-pounder today. Finally, yesterday, we think we got on some fish, and we're excited to get there. Couldn't hardly sleep last night. I'm catching fish. I'm catching 60, 70 fish a day. We got a couple deep spots, and we got some shallow spots. We're going to make a tough one. I am excited. I'm pumped. You just never know what you're going to end up with, really. I mean, we probably had over 150 keepers yesterday. Yeah. Uh, had seven good fish. We'll see. We're going to do a lot of moving. Well, Jamie, we made it. We made it here to the Lucas Oil ACT Championship on beautiful Lake of the Ozark. We did, Sam, and I'm more excited than you are because not only is this our first ever national championship, this is my home lake. How do you tackle a lake this size? Well, Sam, it's huge. It's 110 miles long. There are 30,000 docks on this lake. So the challenge is gonna be where those big fish are gonna be caught. I know one thing, these guys have earned the right to be here. They fished all the way from Mississippi to Louisiana, all the way up to Lake of the Ozarks. And I can't wait to see who comes out on top. One thing's for sure, history is gonna be made, Sam. The first challenge of the day rolls in with a thick fog reducing visibility to dangerous levels. It's the Lucas Oil American Crappie Trail National Championship 2017. We're here at the Gravoy Arm at Lake of the Ozarks. The fog is so thick you can't see 70 yards in front of you, I got lucky. We've got the super clean team of Ronnie Capps, Steve Coleman, your leading B&M Angler Team of the Year right now. They're fishing in about six foot of water, single jigs, let's jump in the boat, see what they're doing. One thing I want you to notice is I've got a, a spotter in the back of their boat. That man's there to make sure that everything's transparent. These guys are the B&M Angler Team of the Year leaders. We wanna make sure here at American Crappie Trail, everything is on the up and up. That serves as a marshal for us. When he comes back, there's another fish on, another fish on. Yes, 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 yes. yes. That's what he's talking about. Score tracker update, you're the only boat I've seen, but that's a heck of a fish, boys. 13 three quarter inches, I guarantee you weigh 127. Barry Morrow and Chad Maupin are fishing the upper arm, finding a safe haven from the fog. They're doing what we call one poling. That's a, a tried and true technique, especially for your bigger fish. When you start snatching all them fish off them brush piles and get going with all the poles, that has a tendency to shut them down. But this technique right here is soft, subtle, and uh, it's a very productive way to catch your bigger fish. He's got a good fish on that. They probably won't keep that fish, but they'll put it in the live well and cull it later. The team of Kent Watson and Matthew Outlaw are 15 points behind Ronnie Capps and Steve Coleman in the B&M Angler Team of the Year race. If Capps and Coleman stumble, Watson and Outlaw will be there to take the crown. Capps and Coleman continue to fight the fog. Hampered by poor visibility, they are forced to remain in one area until the fog lifts.
All right, what we just saw was the fact that they caught another catfish. Steve caught it on the left side of the boat. Ronnie immediately took a pole from his side of the boat, moved it over to Steve's because the piece of cover that they're fishing, again, is very, very small. They're trying to keep those baits presented right in front of the fish. The poles on Ronnie's side really aren't in the strike zone. Just an expert tip to make sure that you're always putting the poles and the baits right in front of the fish. There are many ways to catch crappie on Lake of the Ozarks. Dock shooting, a method of pitching jigs under docks, is a proven fall pattern. We've got Bart Gillum. He's the guy on the left, and Tony Hughes is the big guy on the right. They're in here in a, in a pocket that has tons and tons of shad in it. And they're actually fishing those shad schools. We just saw them catch one that weighed over a pound which that's the kind of fish they're gonna have to have. And that's what they wanna do. They wanna get up there high enough in the standings to give themselves a shot for tomorrow. You can't win it on the first day, but you sure can lose. Over $124,000 is on the line, including the b and Angler Team of the Year title. Day one of the American Crappie Trails National Championship from Lake of the Ozarks will be right back. Lucas Oil's Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Outboard Engine Oil will not only produce a level of confidence with each trip to the lake, but also provide trust backed by rigorous testing on the track as well as on the water. Lucas Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Oil has an extensive additive package that will provide clean burning, smooth running, and maximum performance stability to any outboard on the market today. Lucas Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Oil will not void your manufacturer's warranty. Protect your investment with Lucas Marine Products. Lucas Oil, it works. More than a century ago, General Tire was born, right here in America. Since then, we've made a name for ourselves by making tires you can depend on. Tires built to handle any road this country can throw at them, and relied on by every kind of driver. So you know that no matter where life takes you, with General Tire, anywhere is possible. Clean up your toughest messes super easy, super fast. Only Super Clean is formulated to do the work for you. Just spray it on and watch the grease and grime wash away. Super Clean is the only cleaner degreaser that is scientifically formulated to kick any mess to the curb. So you can move on to more important things. For all of your greasiest, grimiest, toughest tasks around the house, shop, or garage, Super Clean gets the job done. Super Clean, super easy, super fast. b and Poles. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Whether you're jigging, trolling, pulling, or pushing, BM has your pole. Third generation family company with over 70 years' experience. Home to the Bucks Graphite Jig Poles, the first and best selling graphite jig pole in the U.S. for over 35 years. BM Poles, official pole of the American Crappie Trail. The American Crappie Trail is brought to you by Lucas Oil Marine Products. Made in America, sold to the world. By Ranger Boats, driven to dominate. Super clean, super easy, super fast, super clean. By General Tire, anywhere is possible. And by these other proud sponsors. Now this lake here, one kicker fish will make the difference and who wins and who loses this time. It's gonna be something to see. Day one of the Lucas Oil American Crappie Trail National Championship. The top teams in the nation have gathered at Lake of the Ozarks to battle it out for their share of the $124,000 purse. But Mother Nature has thrown our teams a curveball. A thick blanket of fog hovers over most of the lake, limiting the mobility of our teams. I've got Bob Robinson and Jeff Riddle right here behind me. Been fishing for about an hour and a half. We're in October. The water temperature's cooling down. The fog is extremely thick in the mornings. Let's jump in the boat and see how the guys are doing. What you're doing, seeing Bob do right now is he's fish on here, fish on. A little better fish, a little better fish. 
The key to what you just saw right there, Bob's hung with that rod versus grabbing his pole and jerking on it and disrupting that piece of brush down there. He's barely moving that pole, trying to get that hook free and loose. If he set there, sets there and he grabs it and he jerks on it multiple times, it's gonna completely disrupt that piece of cover. The power pole team of Tony Hughes and Bart Gillen are fishing in a cove up the Osage Arm. The key to their strategy is following the food source. Let's talk a little bit about what these fish are doing. These fish have moved up in these pockets where these shad are. These are not the big gizzard shad, these are threadfin shad. And that's what that crappie's doing. For two reasons, they're putting that winter fat on where they can, when the water gets cold, they are not gonna be able to feed much and they gotta have that winter fat. The other reason is they gotta have that fat to nourish those eggs. Because these fish right now are in a, they're actually thinking about what's gonna happen in February, March, and April when they start spawning. So these shad are so, so important to a good population of fish in a lake like this. Kyle Shainer and Rodney Newhouse are on the fish. They're spider rigging a main creek channel, but finding the quality they are looking for has proven difficult this morning. I've got Jason and Jim Westerberg, Rockport Rattler team right here behind us. Just saw them catch a really nice fish and put it in the box. We're two hours into the first day of competition here. The fog is finally starting to lift. The fog lifts, opening up the playing field for the Lucas Oil National Championship from Lake of the Ozarks on the American Crappie Trail. Martin Metal, the specialists for your post frame or stud frame structure. Whether your project is agricultural or residential, we are the one-stop shop for your building needs with the goal to always provide quality products at competitive prices. With great service, Martin Metal is more than metal. We have our own truss plant for your truss needs. Our lumber yard has the highest grade of lumber available in the area, and our window and door options are as diverse as the buildings we supply for. Martin Metal, where our motto has always been, working hard for your success. put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray head. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell for fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crappy. Land, water, seed, and sunshine. It's what farmers need to make things grow. At Mid-State Seed, we take pride in our partners and grow friendships too, providing quality seed farmers can count on. From quality control to packaging and shipping, Mid-State Seed works hard to distribute affordable product from America's heartland. Mid-State Seed, firmly planted in partnership. For over 30 years, Lucas Oil has provided the very best products for the land and sea. From this success stems another amazing product from the Lucas Marine lineup, Lucas Slick Mist Marine Speed Wax. Just spray it on and wipe it off. Lucas Marine Speed Wax will make your boat look brand new and provide great UV protection. Apply Lucas Marine Slick Mist to wet and dry surfaces in sunlight or shade. It's ideal in both fresh and salt water application and prevents hard water deposits. Protect your investment with Lucas Marine products. Lucas Oil, it works. Day one of American Crappie Trail's Lucas Oil National Championship from Lake of the Ozarks. In order to stage an event of this magnitude, local community support is a must. This week, the communities of Lake of the Ozarks pulled out all the stops. Good morning, I'm Paul Hooper. I'm the Executive Director for the Lake West Chamber of Commerce here in Sunrise Beach on Lake of the Ozarks. Best recreational lake in the state of Missouri, actually in the nation, rated number one by USA Today. 
We are proud to be a sponsor to bring the American Crappie Trails National Championship 2017 here to the Lake of the Ozarks. Sitting third in the B&M Angler Team of the Year race is the Kentucky Lake team of Tim Blackley and Jackie Van Cleve. You know, having Caps and Coleman leading in the pack and the points, and uh, I'd rather fish behind anybody than Caps and, and trying to catch him with a lead he's got. Yeah, it's going to be fun. He's the best there ain't yeah. no doubt. And I'd rather not beat nobody like I'd like to beat him. <laughs> I would. Even though we are cousins. <laughs> Despite the enormous size of this week's venue, intimidation is not a factor. You know, we feel pretty comfortable fishing here because this lake, it's huge, but it fishes a lot like Kentucky Lake because, you know, we're jumping, we're jumping from one, one bed to the other, and, uh, or mat or stake bed, whatever you want to call them. And, you know, that's the way we fish at Kentucky Lake. So, you know, we've, we're not, we wasn't intimidated by the big lake or the, the deep water. Uh, you know, once I got up here and kind of got to scouting, I realized that it was going to fish a lot like Kentucky Lake. So we've settled in and got a lot of spots marked, and I think that's going to be one of the keys is having enough spots where you can run and try to pick up enough quality fish. I can't play everywhere. Get down, baby. <laughs> the rabbit took the bait. <laughs> Come out there with your hands up, buddy. <laughs> You're under arrest. All right, I've been looking for Tony Edgar and Travis Lepley for the last three hours, our local hometown favorites, and I found them. We're in uh, the Gravoy Arm. Tony's doing something different than anyone else is doing. He's fishing deep water. He's got a wind sock, a drift sock, that he threw into the water to control his drift and slow his boat down. Tony's chasing bait balls, shad balls that are just loaded in these creeks. He's fishing just below them where those crappie are living. Crappie are always going to feed up, and Tony's just making long pulls down the middle of these creeks. This could be the way to win the 2017 National Championship. The power pole team of Travis and Charlie Bunting are fishing up the Osage Arm in traditional fashion. So basically, we're out here slow trolling uh, structure. It's kind of a ledge right here. It goes from about 6 to 15 foot of water. We got stuff running up and down it. Probably caught. 60, 75 keepers so far this morning. So there's a good bite. It's just digging through a lot of fish, trying to catch a couple of tournament fish. Little, little. What about on the bottom? Look at this fish. Need a mud on him? The super clean team of Ronnie Caps and Steve Coleman have their eyes set on the B&M Angler Team of the Year title. Look at this one. What a fish, what a fish, what a fish. What a fish. He's over pounds. <laughs> the Rockport Rattler team of Jim and Jason Westerberg are dialed in and on the fish. We're using the Rockport Rattlers today and B&M 16-foot uh, Captain Coleman poles. We're using those. We're using, we like the Captain Coleman pole for the sensitivity and the, with the Rockport Rattler, we're just using one Rockport Rattler. We put a little weight above it. Got our minnows tipped to it. That's the way we fish a lot in our home water, so we're trying it here, and it's work. It's actually working really well here for us. So there he is. There's another one. It's a good one there. That's more what we're looking for right there. Pretty good fish for this bot, this lake. We've been catching quite a few like that. Oh, 
And there is a muddy water bait. Yeah. This is one of our top contenders. These guys are in second place for the point standings for the year. It's our Lucas team of Kent Watson and Matt Outlaw. Matt and Ken have had a great year. They have caught fish everywhere we've been. They've got a limit of fish and they're trying to get a couple of more big ones. Yeah, that's one we needed right there. Will that help you, Digger? Yeah, that'll help. boy. Time is running thin on day one of the Lucas Oil American Crappie Trail National Championship from Lake of the Ozarks. b and Poles. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Whether you're jigging, trolling, pulling, or pushing, b and has your pole. Third generation family company with over 70 years experience. Home to the Bucks Graphite Jig Poles. The first and best selling graphite jig pole in the U.S. for over 35 years. b and Poles, official pole of the American Crappie Trail. Launching a Ranger aluminum boat that's cut full of holes may sound a little crazy, but with so much closed cell foam inside, it's easy to see the added safety and stability. It's a huge confidence booster, especially with so much quality inside, along with Evernew Detect's unrivaled performance and 300 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance. Ranger Aluminum is built to excel and priced to be yours. Power your Ranger with Evernew Detect. The outboards that are changing everything. Easy to own and fun to drive. The Evan Rudy e Tech G2, now from 150 to 300 horsepower. It was just so easy to drive, not having to worry about the trim. I could just gas it and go, and that's where I fell in love with the engine. I could drive my boat literally with one finger. In terms of just convenience, easy for me, the G2 is perfect. I wanted something my wife could drive with ease. I love my G2. For details, visit EvanRude.com. From the tackle store to your truck. To your boat on the lake. Back to the ramp. And all the way home. Angle coolers have you covered. For over 30 years, Lucas Oil has provided the very best products for the land and sea. From this success stems another amazing product from the Lucas Marine lineup, Lucas Slick Mist Marine Speed Wax. Just spray it on and wipe it off. Lucas Marine Speed Wax will make your boat look brand new and provide great UV protection. Apply Lucas Marine Slick Mist to wet and dry surfaces in sunlight or shade. It's ideal in both fresh and salt water application and prevents hard water deposits. Protect your investment with Lucas Marine products. Lucas Oil, it works. The American Crappie Trail is brought to you by b and Fishing, quality performance and service for over 70 years. By Mid-State Seed, firmly planted in partnership. Martin Metal, your source for quality buildings, roofing and lumber. By Evan Root, official engine of the American Crappie Trail. And by these other proud sponsors. Final Hours, Day 1 of American Crappie Trail's Lucas Oil National Championship from Lake of the Ozarks. $124,000 is on the line, as well as the b and Angler Team of the Year title. Leading that race is Ronnie Capps and Steve Coleman. They're taking advantage of the final moments of day one to upgrade their limit. Here we have Travis Bullock and Philip Haynes, who is one of our corporate sponsors, Mid-State Sea. They have caught a tremendous amount of fish this week. They're trying to find those bigger fish. So let's hang in here with them for a little while and see how they do it. Did you see how quick they were with those nets? They didn't really net those fish, but in just in case they pulled up one of those fish that they wanted to keep, they had that net ready to go. That 
position of that net in that boat is critical. But they've got that net right where they know where it is, and they can, what, they can both reach around and get that net. That is a critical part of spider rigging. You got to be able to get that net under those bigger fish, because when they get to the top, they got all that leverage to pull that hook out. It was nonstop action all day here at Lake of the Ozark. I think cloud cover hurt us some because of the, you know, when it's sunny, those fish pull to that brush, and that's what we was concentrating on. And you know, it's been overcast and cloudy all day, and uh, a lot of times these these fish get out and roam when it's like that. They don't have to take cover. We fished hard. We put in a hard day, so we'll see what we got when we weigh in. <laughs> Good or bad, we done our best. Hopefully, we stay in the game for tomorrow. That's a, that's the big thing. That's the that's the number one. Yeah. As time expires, the teams bring their catch to the scales. Lake of the Ozarks gave up a limit to every team on day one. The husband-wife team of Paul and Elizabeth Turner take an early lead. Almost hit the nine pound bear, 899. I gotta tell you, that's the string that we're looking for on day one of the national championship. Hometown favorites Tony Edgar and Travis Lepley bring their seven fish to the scales. Moving right up there, 816 puts you in a solid second place right now. Uh, we should have had one more fish, but tough day. We're going to go try it again tomorrow. Dang, man, Rusty Brown and man, Shannon Beckman favorite. step to the scales. Hold on, look at this. 847, third place, guys, starting out day one national championship Mary Crabby Trail. Falling off the pace today is our second place team in the B&M Angler Team of the Year race, Kent Watson and Matthew Outlaw. They open the door for our third place team of Tim Blackley and Jackie Van Cleve. Look at this, 777. That's going to put you right up there. Tim, what do you think? Right. Great. That's, uh, that's a good start. But we wish for a little bit more today, but uh, it's just tough. You know, but in championship style, Ronnie Caps and Steve Coleman, leaders in the B&M Angler Team of the Year race, bring their seven fish to the scales. Look at this, folks. Timeout. 850 puts you right there in fourth place. All right, that's good. We're happy. You know, uh, we had a ball fishing today. We uh, we had our be our worst day, I feel like, today, so look out tomorrow, man. Wes Cooper and Keith Muller slip into third slot with their bag weighing 8.73 pounds. That's going to put you up into third place, man. But setting the pace on day one is Charlie and Travis Bunting. 928, right now you are number one. We just got the right bites. We did a lot of moving around. I mean, we probably caught 150, 200 keepers today. Um, caught an extreme amount of fish. We just had to, you know, work through a lot of fish and every once in a while uh, get the right bite. And we caught them spread out. You know, we caught them anywhere from 7 to 14, 15 foot of water. Our top 10 teams are separated by less than a pound and a half going into day two. Join us next week for the exciting conclusion of American Crappie Trails Lucas Oil National Championship from Lake of the Ozarks.